We go into spectate and three cheese should be in them with pancakes. All right, we are set. Awesome. Game number one, boys. Game numero uno. We got three cheese versus pancakes. And let's see. Let's see how this game goes down. I also need to raise up. Oh my god, pancakes already scored. <laughs> potato pancake slap they do, man. I haven't I haven't had potato pancakes in a hot minute, man. I haven't had them. So pancakes is already off to a huge start. I'm straight off to kickoff. That's Mind you, everyone, this is a tier two division three matchup. So that's something that you would want to sell for. As this is the second highest ranked players, as there's a demo coming on to Dudu. I, I said that was so hype. I said that was so much hype. All right. Fergus now trying to rotate back as I think it's Sinistra. I got to get used to these names Sinistra, Mani, and we got Fergu on three cheese. As Blue Team is trying to keep up the amount of pressure going on right now. However, Kuru smacks it to the side, tries to get a little bit more, you know, room for his teammate to escape. Sinistra now going up, hitting it to the side, trying to get that infield passing play from the left wall. However, so far, Pancakes is coming out with a lead right now. We have four minutes left on the clock. And so far, it's kind of like a little stalemate. Both teams are putting on pressure, and both teams are gaining it away from their half right now. We've seen a lot of plays coming out from Orange Team, and this might be another one, but it is smacked away by Sinister. Or Sinistra, my bad. I keep, I keep pronouncing names wrong. If I do pronounce any names wrong, please do let me know, as Karuj will be getting another goal for Orange Team. It seemed as if Kurju had a power clear coming in from the right midfield, getting it over one of the defenders on blue team, and the second defender just couldn't get back in time as Pancakes will be taking a 2-0 lead so far right now. Pancakes is the best team, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So far, Pancakes is having the lead right now as Kurju tries to flick it up for his teammate. However, Sinistra pops it up quicker. Retro now going for a beam, possibly passing to his teammate. Kurju now... Off the back, we're going straight down. Will Blue Team be able to clear it? Mani gets a light touch on it, and Fergu is there. Mani now trying to get an infield passing play from their corner. No one is there to follow it up, as Sinistra does try to just... Blue Team is just trying to do anything they can to keep up the amounts of pressure that Orange Team is doing. Trying to cancel whatever possession, whatever pushes Orange Team is putting out. A little bit over with a little over half time left on the clock. We got Karuj trying to get another shot. However, Blue Team is just not letting any window of opportunity for Orange Team. They, they said that you got too many goals already. We can't let you score anymore. But Retro. Yep. Um, or Retro. Might be. I'm saying names wrong. As Blue Team picks up a goal for their team. Mani, 97. I, need, I looked away for a second. I'm sorry, Shim. Every, everywhere is all over the place. Fergu gets a pass off the midfield back on their backboard. Mani, quick to follow it up, gets a goal for blue team. It is now 2-1. Two minutes and 47. Yeah, two minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. No game audio. I'm trying to get the game audio up right now, guys, but I didn't want to do it in between matches. As Retro goes in to save it, Fergus Blue taking a quick shot. However, it is smacked away by Dudu. Dudu now trying to go for infield passing play. Max gets it to Retro. He looks for his teammate, sees his teammate, gets a quick spike to him. Quick left infield pass. Retro with the follow-up. Amazing shot coming out from Orange Team. Pancakes right now. You know, pancakes I heard is a very good breakfast, and breakfast is a very important meal of the day. Serving it up Gary's way. As Dudu tries to go for another... You know, attempt at canceling the shot. Gets a redirect pass. Is that straight in? No, it is not. It is smacked away by Sinistra. Sinistra coming in clutch for blue team. Sinistra now trying to go for a follow-up after attempt. Pinch back to his net. Dangerous position. Dangerous position for three cheese. As a clear is coming out from Fergus Blue. He has possession. Dribbling it into their corner. Tries to go for an infield passing play. But it is smacked away as one of the orange team members will smack it out. Baruj now trying to go for a 50. Sinatra following up after the 50. Ani now trying to hit it into the sidewall. Possible attempt to pass to his teammate? Question mark? 
Sinistra now hitting it into their corner to Dudu. Dudu now with the dribble. Gets it past one. Kind of like bunny hopped it. Demo onto Dudu as Fergu gets the demo. Will the shot be here? No, it is smacked away by Dudu. Fergus Blue. And we get another shot incoming on net. Blue team, so far, they, they've they've started off a little bit a little bit slower than Orange Team, but later in this game, they're starting to pick up the pace, man. Mani putting all the shot opportunities he can on net. As we do have a two two to three game, one minute, seven seconds left on the clock. Definitely enough time for blue team to get that extra goal. However, Orange Team just keeping up the pressure due to bumping his teammate Karuj into the 50 win. Retro now popping it up for one of his teammates. Will Retro get another touch? He will. There's a light touch to Dudu. And he will get it. No, it's crossbar. Will the follow-up from Karuj get it? He gets a double touch. He gets the double touch. Oh, my Lord. Unfortunate first crossbar. However, he sets it up for his teammate Karuj to spike it down. It is now 4-2, ladies and gentlemen, as Pancakes will be taking a lead in game one. However, we still do have 46 minutes, or 46 minutes, 46 seconds left on the clock. There's still plenty of time to maybe get another goal and an overtime. Another 50 in midair will happen. Mani tries to go for a quick shot to get it off their field of the net, or their half of the field. Good luck, I'm with Mr. Hirsch. My other count. Hey, what's up, rookie? Tupac or Eminem? Eminem by far, man. Time is windling down. The window of opportunity for Three Cheese FC is lowering down. Dudu trying to go for another shot. Goes off the right wall. Will he follow it up with a ceiling? Ooh. As it looks as if Cheese... Will not be getting the first win. It will be Pancakes instead. And that bug is crawling closer and closer to me. I don't want it to get near me. You guys do not know there is a bug claw crawling on my wall. And I do not like bugs. And it's getting closer and closer to my bed. I don't like that. Okay, well, first game will be going to Pancakes. As they do pick up a 4-2 to win. So let me update the scores real quick and we will get into the next game. Let's also look at these stats as well. So let me first give Orange Team a point. There we go. We got a point. There we go. So yeah, Orange Team, they definitely did not take their foot off the like gas. They just kept that thing on the pedal. Um, as you can see, eight shots coming in from Pancakes and actually eight shots from both teams actually. However, Orange Team did come in clutch. Um, definitely did follow up with more of the shots and a lot of the passing plays did come out off their backboard I remember one of the orange team members they had a shot off the backboard that came off the crossbar and then Karuj quick with the follow-up I'm also gonna raise up the audio sounds as well so I am very sorry about that stream but yeah let's see if let's see if pancakes can keep up this offensive onslaught as we head into game number two um, once again it is a best of five series so whichever team gets first two three will be taking home not only that game, but they'll be taking home the series of week number one. So let me go into spectate real quick and we will be heading into game number two. Let's get some hypes in chat and just shoot it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Game number two between three cheese and pancakes as three cheese going for a delayed kickoff on pancakes. And they seem to get away with that delayed kickoff as Three Cheese FC is starting off with heavy amounts of pressure. However, there is two members from Three Cheese up. Tries to get a little touch off of Karuj's shot. As Retro will try to go for a quick attempt shot. However, it is smacked away by Fergu. Demo onto Mani as Retro does get a demo. Tries to rotate it back post. Blue team now with a window of opportunity. Gets a demo onto Fergu. Both teams very deadly with their demos. This is a tier 2 match as well, so for those who don't know what a tier 2 is, or tier 4, or tier 5, tier 2 is one of the highest ranks that you could get in Rocket League. Ooh. And yeah, it's a very tense matchup that we're going to be having right here. Uh, as we saw in game number 1, anything is possible, and both teams are very, very skilled, especially in mechanics. As Sinistra tries to go for a little aerial pass into his teammate. Mani now shadow defending, tries to catch it into a corner, however, Urju. Rouge 
Beats him. Dudu going for 50. Both teammates from blue team are up. However, Fergu is back. And he demos Dudu as well. Finisher going off the roof for a ceiling reset. Will he will he get it? No. 50s it past one of the orange defenders. Ismani trying to dribble it back into his own corner for a little possession. Ismani goes for an aerial block. However, Arnshin gets it past. Retro now rotating back on defense as Dudu will be winning the 50. Gets another touch. Will he get a third touch? No, it is smacked away by Fergu. As another shot. Retro. Very close shot. So far, we see Dudu trying to get that infield passing play. But he's hitting it to the backboard, which at times it can be very useful. But in my opinion, from that corner, it might be a little harder to hit it. Baru's now trying to go for a bump. It is smacked away by Fergu. Dudu get that infield passing play? No, no one is there. Sinistra gets it beamed to their backboard. Nobody there to clear it. Sinistra hitting it on the backboard yet again. No one's still there to complete it. And Mani. Mani says, no one's clearing it. I'm shooting it. Three cheese FC on the board. First shot. Little missed attempt from Karouj. But Mani will be taking up point number one in game number two. Two minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. A little more than half the game in. And we're, we're, we're off to a one point lead for three cheese FC. It's three cheese FC. Straight off the kickoff. Straight off the whip. I went I went to look at something else for a second. However, I was proven wrong. Sinistra with the kickoff win. Gets the read. Or no, Fergu with the kickoff win. And Sinistra picks up the read in the corner. Gets it in the net. It is now 2-0. Get some hype going. 3G's FC is trying to get this into a game number 5. And I respect it. I respect this. Here we go. Sinistra now trying to go for a little bit of a push. Trying to get that into their corner. Possible corner read, but no! Smacked away by Orange Team. Retro now going up for a quick aerial. Retro getting it past... One of the defenders into their corner. Sinistra, however, is there. Will the follow-up come in? No, it's smacked up. Mani now with the re- Can he get a double touch? No, he won't. But will he get the shot here? Smacked away by Retro. One thing I think is the most hardest thing to do in Rocket League is doing quick aerial shots like that. Oh my goodness. Being able to jump up that quick and read the ball is something that takes a lot of, lot of effort. As we see right here, Dudu realizes the ball is up right in front of their net. Goes up quickly, gets the connection, shoots the ball, and now it is 2-1. 1 minute 58 seconds left on the clock as Retro will be getting a kickoff win for Pancakes. And honestly, guys, the more and more I look at these team names, I'm getting more and more hungry as Carouge will tie it up. 1 minute 50 seconds left on the clock. Dudu with a great infield passing play. Carouge reading that pass, gets a light little touch past both defenders, and that will be tying it up, folks. Game number two is off to a very, very close start. As Sinistra will be getting a booming clear out to their net. Cleared to the side by Retro in their corner. Fergu still with the possession, trying to get an infield passing play. However, both defenders missing, which is an odd move. But Karouj does get the flick over, gets it to midfield. Dudu with the follow-up for his team. A little light bicycle touch to Dudu. He is up in the air, trying to just get it past any of the defenders on blue team. Demo coming in from the midfield on Dudu as Fergu will be getting to Demo. Sinistra now hitting into their back. Where will Mani be able to follow up? Great clear. Bicycle kick clear. Coming into Sinistra. Sinistra hitting it up mid. Misses the follow up. Leaves it for his teammate. Sinistra looking for that infield passing play to Mani. However, Mani wasn't ready just yet. Very clear from Dudu as one of the orange team will be following it up. Karouj will be following it. Sinistra now trying to get that little dribble on the right-hand side. Smacked away. We got a very intense match right now, guys. We have a very intense match right here. Retro now on the left-hand wall trying to go for an air dribble. Past one defender. Will Retro get it past another? No, he will not. As the ball is kind of just left there. As Mani will be picking up the ball for a little bit of possession. A lot of bicycle kicks and midfield passes that we're seeing in this game. As Karouj centers it. Karouj with the follow-up now. I believe I said Karouj centers. I meant to say Karouj gets the follow-up. 
Money now with the clear. 10 seconds left on the clock. Will anybody be able to score? Dudu off the sidebar. Cleared by Fergu. As Garouge will get the follow-up. It's saved again by Mani. Another shot. Saved. Oh my goodness. We're in overtime. Game number two. I, th I thought for sure there was going to be a goal scored there. But no. No. 3 Cheese FC is showing to have a very strong defense right when it needs to be. Sinistra now getting a flick over one. Will he get it past the second one? No, he will not. Dudu blocks it. Mani now trying to take a quick shot. It is saved yet again. Demo coming out on Dudu. Will that affect the match? Maybe. As Sinistra will be getting a clear on their team. Mani quick to follow it up. Retro now going for a 50. He gets the 50. Lands on the sidewall. Will he follow it up? Goes for an air dribble. Maybe backward double touch as it is smacked away by Sinistra. Karuj now trying to set it up for his teammates. No, he gets beat by Mani. Another 50 coming out from Orange Team as Farouk is trying to pick it up for a little bit of pressure. Rouge now gets smacked away. It is in dangerous position, but Dudu realizes that dribbles have passed. Fakes on one of the blue team members. Dribbles it. Looking for that infield passing play to Karouge. Gets smacked away. Will one of the Orange Team members be able to save it as Retro off the backboard? Oh my god, my breath is going out. My breath is going crazy right now. My voice is losing it. We're one minute and ten seconds into overtime. Mani now fighting with his teammate for a little bit of possession. Gets it pinched away though by Dudu. Orange team taking a little bit of a uh, little time to reset as one of the defenders will be heading back. Two of the defenders actually might be. Retro with the quick flick. Mani quick to stop it however. Will Dudu be able to beat him into 50? He does. However, Fergu is there. Carouge now with the save. I believe Carouge now has the savior. It's seven saves. That is a lot of saves. Mani now trying to get that into the midfield pass to Farouk. What a save! Retro. Two defenders were there to save it. However, the shot was off. Going for a ceiling reset. Dudu, he still has the flip. Flip sideways. Rouge now with plenty of time. However, the 50 beat off the sidewall. As Dudu will try to catch the ball and shoot the ball on net. Oh, it's on their backward. Dangerous position for Pancakes. Orange team is just trying to play a little keep away game from uh, Three Cheese FC. However, Three Cheese FC is just not letting that happen. One thing I respect, though, that both teams are doing... Oh, I don't respect the double commit there. But one thing I do respect, especially when I see both teams play, is that they try clearing it into the corner, which relieves a lot of pressure from the defense, which makes it very easy to save it. And we're kind of seeing that from both teams, actually, as Fergu is using it as an example. It is hit into the corner. It is on their backboard, however. Will Karuj get a double touch? No, he will not. Dudu now trying to hit it towards mid. Retro with the follow-up, smacked away by Mani. Another shot. Will that go in? No, it's in the sidebar. It's on the sidebar. So many shot attempts, but none of them are being able to connect to the net. Whether it's the sidebar or a defender, the ball just does not want to go into any net. Garouge trying to get that light touch midfield. Smacked away by Sinistra. Sinistra now looking for a double touch. Smacked away by Dudu. Will he follow it up? There's only one defender. It's a one-on-one -on -one combat. However, it's smacked away into the corner. Dangerous position as the corner read will not be there. Off the backboard for a follow-up retro. No. Sinistra. Great clear. Carouge pops it up. Trying to go for a midfield passing play yet again. Carouge with the f clear. Oh, my God. This is so nerve-wracking, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> As Orange Team will be picking up the tiebreaker. We almost had another full game of just overtime. Carouge getting that corner read off the sidewall. Hits it on the ceiling. Miscombobulates the whole blue team. And... Breaks up that tie. Pancakes now with a 2-0 lead in game number two. And my rib cage is hurting. My goodness. That's how much hype we have in this game right now. Pancakes will be taking game number two. And I, I have to look at these stats right now. Because there were so many saves from both teams. There's so many shots from both teams. I think that would be the closest match I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, 11 shots coming out from Team Pancakes. And then we also got 10 shots coming in from 3 Cheese FC. Both teams definitely putting on a lot of offensive plays, but a 
lot of times the pressure was being put on. It was just save. Both teams definitely had very strong defense. Retro coming in with the five saves. Like eight saves in total for Pancakes. And then you got eight saves for FC. God, three cheese FC. That was insane. Match number two. We'll be going to Pancakes. However, game three will be happening in just a little bit. This will determine if... Pancakes will be going home with a 3-0 lead, or if 3Gs FC is going to fight for the best of five. So, oh no, I could lose a lot of points. Maybe, man, maybe. Damn, that was tense. It was tense, dude. <laughs> I found it so hard just trying to catch a breath as me speaking, but we're heading into game number three. Hopefully, game sounds are working better as I did up the audio for stream. Of course, let me know if anything needs to be raised or lowered. However, we are heading into game number three as Sinistra gets a very good kickoff. Dude, who follows it up. Quick demo onto Mani. Trying to fake out, but Fergu is not being faked out as Sinistra follows it up. Quick shot on that. However, Retro is there. Pops it up for Karuj. Karuj with a quick aerial follow up. Can he get another touch here? No, he cannot as Fergu smacks it away. Dude, now from Pancakes. Trying to get the aerial play from the sidewall. Smacked away. It is now in dangerous position for Retro as he does get a block from Fergu. Orange stream now with a little bit of opportunity, but Sinistra not letting it happen. Putting any amount of pressure, playing that close combat game as Dudu gets a power clear to Retro. Will Retro be able to make a play from this? We will find out. Quick center pass to Karouge, but no! An accidental block from his own teammate. That is not what you like to see. Oh no, that is not what you want to see from Pancake's team. Shot on net, saved away by Fergu. Honestly, Rocket, I find Rocket League being a whole mental game. If you can, if you can keep that same mindset that you have, you're definitely going far places. As we see Karuj trying to go for a redirect pass into Retro. Retro smacking off the backboard. It is hit sidebar. It hits the sidebar. Dudu with the quick challenge gets it past one defender, max it to the corner. As Mani will be clearing that away. 3 Cheese FC is definitely not letting any sort of passing plays or offensive plays get past their half. As we see Sinistra going for another challenge. Both defenders up and his dangerous position as no one is back for... Oh my god, no one's back for demo. Quick shot. Missed. Rouge now going up for a little air dribble. As we see him try to go for a flip reset. Virgo now off the side wall. Trying to go for a small little play, but Dudu smacks it away. Can we see the follow-up from Baimani? Pancakes, let's go. Easy win. We'll see, man. We'll see. Game 3 is definitely looking like a very intense game as Dudu will be clearing it out. It's da very dangerous position. Very dangerous territory for 3 cheese FC. Layered by Sinash um, Sinistra. I keep saying Sinatra, like Frank Sinatra. Oh my god! I didn't even see that he was going for that shot. Garouge now going for a ceiling reset. Has the flip! He uses the flip! However, three three defenders from three cheese is there. Sinatra trying to go for his own freestyle of his own. Mani now with a quick hit to the side. Dudu now with a quick hit to the side. Mani now trying to go for a follow-up shot! Shot is there. Dangerous territory as it is smacked away, but no! Not enough coming out from Pancakes. Mani, with the shot, rolls up off the backboard, and Fergu, quick challenge. It was smacked away by Dudu. However, it wasn't a good enough save. It did hit the sidebar, and unfortunately, it did go in. However, we dill, we dill. However, we do still have enough time. Two minutes on the clock, as Fergu is trying to get another 50 win, possible another goal here. As Sinistra tries to get another challenge in. Sinistra now going for a 50. Gets the 50 win. It is now midfield. Karouge has the... Has the... I, I can't even think of the word now. What a save coming out from Fergu. Clears it out to the side. Dudu now trying to take the shot off to their backboard. However, Sinistra. Very good backboard defense. Is Mani now trying to go for another backboard defense. Gets it. All three members of blue team is in a dangerous position as all three of them were in the corner. As a follow-up coming in from Retro. Or not from Retro. From Karouge. My bad. Dudu sets him up off the backboard. A little bit of a... 
miscommunication, I think, coming out from uh, Three Cheese FC as all three members were in the corner and both of both defenders that were in net were in an awkward position, leaving both teams to be tied up again. Mani with a quick follow-up and an unfortunate own goal. The very powerful shot, actually. 130 KPH. Mani realizes there was a neutral win. Goes to the net. Retro trying to get the block. However, he does redirect it into their own net. It's 2-1 on the leaderboards. Score is 2-1. We got a little bit over a minute left on the clock as Fergu keeps up the pressure, hitting the ball into their corner. Richie's FC is out here. They're trying to get rid of any pressure the opposite team has, and they're trying to get the win as a demo onto Dudu. Mani now. Go demo onto Sinistra as Fergu. Possible goal here, smacked away by Dudu. We got a little bit, well, I think it's like 40 seconds left on the clock. Yep, about 40 seconds left on the clock is Mani trying to go for a dribble. One defender left in the net, smacked away by Carouge with a good bicycle kick save. As Dudu, quick follow up, will Sinatra be there? He will. Will the follow up be able to save it? He will, gets a 50, that is in dangerous territory as Dudu ties it up. 25 seconds left on the clock. Sinistra passing it over to Carouge, gets a 50, and Fergu, oh my goodness. Fergu tries to clear it away, but Dudu is there to block it, and it is tied up 2-2. Two two. 25 seconds left on the clock. We might be going into another overtime here, folks, as we have only 20 seconds left on the clock. Blue team looking for that clear. Retro now heading to the sidewall. Retro with a quick shot. Mani blocks it. Mani now has plenty of time to do any sort of play. However, Dudu does get the 50 into the sidewall as Garouge takes a shot on net, and no blue team member is there to save it. Garouge with the shot. Tiebreaker. If you are for three cheese FC, you need to get a goal right now as this is the game defining match. I was gonna say the game defining game, but that's pretty much pretty much the same thing. Three to two. As both members from three cheese FC will be on kickoff, leaving one defender back. Sinistra misses the aerial. Will any orange team member be there to follow it up? One second left on the clock as it's not there. The ball does touch the ground. And the third game will be going over to Pancakes. We do see a, re oh, not a reverse, but we do see a clean sweep. Pancakes 3-0 to 3-Cheese FC.